Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on beginner's guide to database using MS SQL Server and 2014. In the previous episode, I have showed you how to create table using GUI as well as query in MS SQL Server 2014. In this episode, I will show you how to use alter query in MS SQL Server 2014 to add, remove and modify columns in existing table. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial series. Okay guys, first of all, we need to start our MS SQL Server Management Studio. So I have pinned the MS SQL Server in my taskbar. So I will click on MS SQL Server icon to start it. Then it will open and we have to connect our database engine using local server. Just click and connect, it will connect. So I have already created a sample, sample database. You see here. If you don't know how to create database in MS SQL Server 2014, I would recommend you to watch my previous video on how to create database. So in sample database, I, I have created a table called tbl underscore user. So we will be adding columns, removing columns and modifying some existing columns in this table. Uh, if you have not created any table, uh, you should create one table and if you don't know how to create a table, then I would uh, recommend you to watch my previous videos on how to create table so to add uh, to add remove or modify column we will use a uh, query so click on new query then a uh, window will pop up so here we have used sample database if you if you are in another database like master we have to type use sample database then just execute it so it will select as our database called sample database uh, now take a look at the structure of our table that the table user select asterisk from tbl underscore user so i'll just look at the structure of my tbl user table so just execute it so in this table we have user id full name address and gender so let's add another column let's add uh, two columns for contact and email for this we will use alter query that is alter table tbl underscore user then add column name will be contact and where care 20 and another column will be add email with I think we don't need add this email and barker 150 just select this query and execute it so we have successfully executed the query then let's take a look of our table so we have successfully added two columns that is contact and email uh, now let's remove uh, remove the email column using query to remove the column so we have to type uh, alter query that is alter table tbl underscore user drop column and column name is email so we have to select this query and execute it so we have successfully executed our query so our uh, email column should be deleted deleted from our table so let's take a look i have selected the select query and execute it so we do not have email column anymore so we have successfully deleted our email column from our table using the alter and drop query in MS Excel Server 2014. Uh, now let's try to re uh, change the data type of our contact from varchar to integer. So to do this, we have to write another alter query that is alter table tbl underscore user alter column contact to integer so this query will change the data type of contact column from varchar to integer so just select the query and execute it 
so we have successfully executed our query so it should have successfully changed from varchar to integer so to check the data type let's take at, uh, a look at our design so contact is successfully changed to integer so let's try to change the data type of gender from varchar to integer we have to do we, we, same query will work on on this so we have to convert our gender column from varchar to integer so i will just change the contact to gender and run the query so i have successful so command is successfully executed so let's take a look we have to refresh this so i'll just close and again right click and so design so uh, we have successfully changed the data type of gender to integer from varchar so this is the way to this so this is uh, and so so this is the query to add uh, columns in existing table this is the query to drop columns from existing table and this is the query to change data type in our table using query so let's do the same things adding columns removing columns and modifying columns uh, using gui to do this all we have to do is go to design view to go to design view we have to just uh, go to tables so i will show it from beginning so after connecting to the database we have to expand our databases then go to your database on which your table is located and you have you want to add remove or modify columns so i will go to my sample database then inside the tables then select the tables on which you want to make changes so i will select this table and right click it right click on it then click on design so this will show the design structure of our tables we have one two three four five five columns let's add another column to add another one just click on the empty one and type the column name you want to add that will be email and email will be varchar and we have to give the length i will give 140 150 then press ctrl and s to save so we have successfully added our new columns in our table so let's take a look so we have successfully added another column called email so in this way we can add another col another column as well so let's add another column it will be guardian u a r d i a and guardian it will be varchar 150 so just click on control and s to save so we have successfully saved let's use we do not have guardian column yet now select the query and execute it so we have another column called guardian so this is the way to add new columns in gui version so let's drop one of the one of the column using gui to drop or delete column we have to just go to the column which you want to delete and then right click on it then you can there will be a delete column option so click on delete column so we have successfully deleted our contact column let's take a look using our query select the query and execute it so we do not have contact column anymore now let's change the data type of gender from integer to varchar to do this just go here and type varchar and give the length i will give 10 then just press ctrl and s to save it so it will ask for permission to save so to do this all you have to do is go uh, change the settings we can do is go to tools and go to options and click on designers and 
we have to uncheck this option that is prevent saving changes that require table recreation so to do this we have to uncheck it and click on ok now we can make changes so just press ctrl and s then we have successfully changed our data type of gender column from integer to burger to, to, be, to be sure let's select the query and execute it so we have successfully changed the data type of gender from integer to varchar so this is it guys if you have any confusion or if you are stuck in something so don't forget to comment i will reply as soon as possible if you like this video and would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to like share and subscribe while subscribing don't forget to click on bell icon so you will get notified when i upload new videos so thanks so much for watching stay tuned for more Bye-bye.